Hello all and welcome back. So today let's discuss about price list and discount. That is how we can apply price list and discount on products in Order 40 website. So using price list, one can easily manage the product price for a specific vendor or a customer depending upon the company needs. And we can also provide uh, uh, rewards in the form of discounts for customers. So a discount can be provided by using promotion programs, coupon programs, and also uh, using price list. That is inside a price list, uh, we can provide discounts. So let's see how this is done. For that, let's open our website module. And when you go to configuration settings, we can enable that feature that is price list. So when you search for price list, you can see uh, prices are all, is, this option is already enabled. So you can set multiple prices per product, uh, then automate the discounts, etc. So you can see there are two options. One, uh, we can set multiple prices uh, per product. And the other case is you can you set advanced price to, price rules, which includes discounts, formulas, that is we can Calculate the price using formulas and discounts. And directly from here, we can configure the price. And I will show you one thing that is discount. So you can see discount is not enabled. So you can dis uh, enable that feature for your website that is to grant discounts on sale order lines, which is computed from a price list. Okay, so after this, we can save this. When you come under product, you can also find that menu for configure, configuring price list, that is creating price list. So when you open that, you can see some of the price list created. And you can see the discount policy. And here, by clicking create button, let's create a new price list. Okay, demo price list. And then here we can add the price rules for this price list. So as it is advanced price list, that is we can, we have some advanced option. We can apply this price list on all products then a particular category, product category, and so you can select that category or else we can set this price list for a particular product or to a variant product variant and from here you can choose that okay so if i am setting this price list for a particular product let it be desk pad then here i can set a minimum quantity so if, uh, if customer have purchased this product that is if the customer have purchased two quantity then only this price list will be applied okay so i'm setting zero so for all this price price list will be applied then we can set a period that is we can set a start date and end date so this price list will be only valid within that date so starting date time for the price list item validation, the displayed value depends on the time zone set in your preferences. And here we can see price computation, which can be, uh, we can see three ways for computing the price. It can be pr fixed price. That is, we can set a fixed price for your product or else we can set a percentage that is a discount. And we can use a formula to calculate the sales price, new sales price. So uh, by using minimum margin, uh, that, that is depending upon the minimum margin, maximum margin and rounding method and price discount, a new sales price will be computed. Okay, so we have done a detailed video on sales price list. So you can check that if you want to know more, more about how to, that is calculate this sales price using the formula. Okay, so let me provide, that is choose the second option that is percentage price. And I'm adding 20% discount for this product. And then 
save save this and same we can add more lines here so i have created a price tool for for desk pack and here under configuration you can add more configuration like you can add the availability of this product so we can restrict it to certain country groups and we can set a discount policy discount policy there are two options it can be like discount included in price or show public price and discount to the customer separately so i'm choosing the second option and here you can see website so here we can provide the website name in which it should, it need to be shown then you can set whether it is selectable that is allow the end user to use uh, user to choose this price list okay so it is selectable then we can set e-commerce promotional code if you want so using that code some rewards like uh, rewards can be provided for customers okay so just save this so i haven't set any company because this price list need to be available for all company then come back to our dashboard and from here we can go to website so let's see how this price list can be applied okay so let's move on to our shop and here let me search for our product desk pad so you can see the desk pad with 2.28 price so here you can see a price list option so from uh, the available prices we can select one that is customer can select one so if the customer selected uh, the demo price list then here you can see uh, some discount is applied as we have given 20 percentage as our discount so some amount is reduced and a new price is shown here and now the customer can add the product to cart so so the price depends upon the price list selected chosen by the customer uh, so you can see as the as we have set 20 percent discount on the price list according to that new price is shown to customer now the customer can make payment process checkout and make payment okay so you can see the payment is done and okay so here let me go back to website you can see the orders so just close this and you can see that order here So here you can see we don't have enough quantity to deliver to customer. So from here we can change the own hand. So I made some adjustment and added on hand 50 quantities. So now we have enough quantity to be delivered. Okay, so coming back to a sale order. And here you can see the forecast shown as in green color. So here you can see the discount uh, for this product is 20 percentage, which is applied and the total is shown as 1.82. And here we have our customer preview. So you can see that quotation, the pricing lines can see so a delivery, free delivery charges applied and you can see the desk pad unit price. So the unit price is updated by applying the discount 
and you can see the tax is also applied. So customer can make payment. So here we can add the full name and add a signature. Accept and sign. And pay and confirm. So after this, the payment will be confirmed, successfully done. So that's all about uh, applying price list and discount on products in Odo 40. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to odo at cyprosis.com. Thank you.